Professor Peen. Yep, it's definitely right, right away. I don't think that spot dodges on purpose. We're seeing a little bit of tech flub here. Missing the tech. Oh, oh that was man, immaculate. yeah, catching him DIing away. That was ridiculous. Good combos. Yep. And you see that? Okay, that's actually uh, a NorCal thing originally, but waiting on the platform and late shielding in between stocks. Because if they come down off the platform and hit you with anything, you'll slide off. And if they try to grab you, you can shield drop on reaction. Oh, okay. And I'm really, I'm glad to be seeing this out of more people because it's a really good, like, there's not really an answer for it, honestly, as long as you're on point with your grab reactions. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, I, I mean, melee is like evolving still. Oh, like, it's I, crazy, it, dude. It, it's ridiculous. Have you ever seen, okay, Gimpy Fish made a video around, it was when Brawl came out in 2008, and it was when they assumed that everyone was going to just start playing Brawl instead of melee, and it was supposed to be the height of melee, like the best thing that anyone's ever done with their characters, you know? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like it's not even close to what we see today. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. It's just it, it's really good. I mean, it's um shield dropping was yeah. such a big deal, but now yep. there's like a meta evolving around shield dropping. Well, and, and also shield pressure in general. Like back in 2008, people didn't do like the the double shine mix ups, the shine grabs, the uh, things like like spacing your aerials like high versus low cross ups. Like they existed to an extent, but they definitely weren't refined like they are today. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope uh, Peen oh, starts God, yeah. stepping it up a little bit. <laughs> um, I feel like he's a little nervous because well, he's going to... Honestly, I feel like he got... Oh, God. Yeah, the, <laughs> the bad ledge stall. It's like even the first stock, you know, catching him DIing away on a forward smash, killing at 75, like, that's really demoralizing. It, yeah. And no. It's hard to bring yourself back from that, especially when you're playing against someone who you know is really, really good. Exactly, exactly. And, I mean, it's just kind of apparent, especially in Foxes. I mean, he was doing a lot of, like, really high nares. Yep, and yep. It, that's that's when you know that they're kind of nervous. Yep, going um, in scared a little bit. And you can't help it, but it's a mindset issue. Oh, those pivot F smashes. They're really good. Yeah, and sometimes it seems he's just styling. He'll, like, dash back and forth three times and do it. He's in hit stun the whole time. So good. Definitely really good. Very, uh, what is it? PPU? Yeah, yeah, Very yeah. PPU. Well, it's, it's sort of the era of the new Marths, because the Marths that we know best are Mewtwo King and PPMD, and they're sort of old-school players, you know? Mm -hmm. So they're doing things like like the little spacings, the dash dancing, and, like, the exact punishes. But when you get down to crazy tech skill, it's in the new guys. You yeah. know, PPU, and then people like Zane. Oh, uh, yeah, and he's, uh, Professor Peen's a dual main Fox Marth, so... So, are they switched? Did? I'm... Yeah, it looks like Zane switched over to Fox. Huh, interesting. Uh, maybe he's trying to get in his head, kind of. Yeah, he's that's definitely Zane's Fox. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's uh, definitely trying oh, to get in yeah. his head. Oh, yeah, and that's uh, one of the nervous ticks I've noticed from Mike, that's uh, Professor Peen, is that he'll go for late aerials that can be shielded easily if he's nervous. Because uh, he's trying to kind of cover the area around him. All right. Oh, oh, and he misses the turnaround. It's right. little tech skill errors, but um, I'm liking his dash dancing. And it, oh, his see, this is looking really crisp. Yeah, very good. Ooh. Flops a little bit on yeah, that. Okay, and that's another thing. Uh, I keep telling him about this, but you can't just down air like that. Uh, it's a 50-50 situation, and if they don't get hit by it, they're going to hit you back. Yeah, well, and, you know, if Fox is, I guess, level with the stage or higher, it's an up, uh, I guess, an up air or forward air, or even a forward smash would do better than a down air. Definitely. And then, you know, once you get them out even farther, once they're below that line, below that stage line, just that's when you can just kind of rely on the down tilt mm -hmm. and get them out of there. Unless they do some crazy mangle, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will see how this plays out. But yeah, no, I feel like the Fox pick was definitely just uh, trying to get in his head. Yeah, Kind of yeah, saying, definitely. you know, it's not the character I'm going to... And I feel like, honestly, Peen is not doing that bad right now. He just needs to close it out. Like, he was comboing very effectively, getting... Probably 50-60% on both of his combos, but he wasn't finishing them. And that's what happens with Marth. If you can't finish your combos, you don't have, you know, a Sheik Fair or a Fox Back Air or any of those sorts of things. You just have to get lucky. Right, right. I mean, in, yeah, it's common Marth problem, too. Yep. Oh, What's that's dangerous. Uh. All right, let's see if he can right. pull another stock out. Yep. I mean, this is melee. Yeah, anything yeah. can happen, dude. <laughs> Really, anything. What's the happen. two stocks? Is not only. Can, can we say that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to say that. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'm give him for that. my boy. Yeah, I'll definitely root for the underdog as well. You know, just yeah, he can clutch it out. It looks like he's yeah. doing work right now. Yep, and his punish game is really good. Like this is, ooh, yeah, he does kind of rely on tech in a lot too. I've noticed. You get the edge cancels from Zane. All right, that was good, Chris. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, ooh. he went for the forward. Yeah, so it was better I than going for. Was the that a mid shorten from Zane? I think it was. Mm -hmm. 
It looked like it was about three fourths of the way, like third out of fourth fandom. You gonna get it? Yo, Ooh, let's go! Nice. All right, all right. You can no. bring this back. Yeah, I this mean, is one of those matchups, dude. It's so volatile. This can be done. I mean, and it, it's Fox. It's melee. Oh, there's oh. that regrab. But uh, yeah, that's hard. In that like twenty to thirty percent range, when they fall like that, if you're not perfect, they're gonna shine you. We've seen even like like Leffen on Mewtwo King gets those sometimes because it's just so hard to be perfect in this game. That's a really good read on him. Oh, oh that really, really good read. that's what I'm talking about. Is he coming back? Let's go. <sighs> I believe. Yeah. A little bit lacking in the corner pressure, and yeah. Got him. yeah but honestly, that was respectable. Really I think, well uh, played. It definitely that was not as bad as it could have been. They went in pretty hard. Yep. I mean that. Um, I guess, you know, when you're down to that last stock. And Mango was like, that's the only one that matters. Yeah. He yeah. he turned it up on that last stock. Mm -hmm. He's like, you know, either I get eliminated or I lose this match or in or I go in. And Definitely. He went in. All right. And look at this. We're getting Obi versus Nurok now. And um, I don't